These are the main components of the powertrain. A small petrol engine drives an alternator to send electrical power to a hub motor. The controller loads the engine to its maximum power RPM. This RPM is independent of the motor load and is proportional to the engine's throttle. Thus, all the controller needs to know is the immediate RPM under the throttle setting. The following curves show computed effects of field current on engine speed. This is full throttle with a hub impedance of 16 ohms. Maximum power is developed near 6000 RPM with little reduction above and below. Past the knee, the engine will stop unless the current is reduced rapidly. Next, look at further loads. Each load gives nearly the same optimum RPM, but the knees differ in position. The foldback below 2 ohms is attributable to armature reaction. Now add the effect of a simple controller. Field current is allowed only above a minimum RPM, from where it increases with a moderate amps per RPM slope. The increase will halt at the relevant curve where engine power limits. The limiting points differ little from their optima and all knees are avoided. The delivered power around each intersection can be computed. The best performance is in the 1 to 2 ohm range corresponding to around 30 volts at the hub motor. Now how is the controller implemented? This circuit achieves the desired result. An amplifier compares the actual RPM with a reference and drives field current proportional to the difference. This could be acceptable as a virtually on-off control, producing no power below 5500 RPM. Partial throttle capability is added by a sensor, setting the target RPM proportional to throttle opening. This keeps the full throttle performance while developing maximum available power at partial throttles. Here is the realization. The controller is a reel-to-reel -reel op amp driving a MOSFET output stage. Also on the board are a 12 volt stabilizer and a charger for bike lamps, a star delta switch driver and pins for monitor points and on-off switch. These are the parts to fill the controller box. The controller board, the power board as seen previously, an on-off switch, a 9-way monitor connector, and battery for the lamps. This is needed only if lights are required with the engine stopped. These are the measured results with the new controller. Performance is substantially the same as in the previous hand-optimized tests, with over 600 watts available over a wide output range. A star delta relay will be added to combine good low speed acceleration with comfortable speed holding. Smooth power progression with throttle is observed in all conditions. This is one measured instance where power increases smoothly from about 3000 RPM. We are now all set to fit the bike.